Hi guys, this is Shay with Chalkin' with Shay. I am coming on a little early today. Well, a lot early. Uh, usually I come on about 7 o'clock in the evening, but um, I am not sure that I'm going to be able to make it tonight. So I wanted to make sure that I did a live for you guys. So um, if this is a bad time for you, you can just pop on and see the replay. And this is just going to be a short little thing too. So we did the buffalo plaid from yesterday. And so today I was just going to add, this is going to be a three part project because it needs to dry in between. So I was going to add the Santa today and then um, the second Santa either tonight or tomorrow. So that's why I am popping on right now. Okay, so um, this is our buffalo plaid. We did have some bleeding down here, but I'm not going to worry about it because um, I still think it looks pretty cool. And we have um, lots of vintagey, um, it, it looks real vintagey. So I'm not going to stress about it. All right, so we have this um, adorable little Santa, and we're just going to put him on top. And this is. Got, this one has two layers. So this is the first one and this is the second one. So I'm going to do the first one now. And we're going to do, um, so we have white for the beard. And then red for the hat. And I'm thinking, what is the face going to look like? Well, the face is just going to be like this pattern. It's just going to have that. So it's just going to be kind of an outline of Santa. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So let me pull this off. Actually, you know what? I need to go get some water. So um, hang on. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I am back with my bucket of water. All right. I'm not sure if anybody is going to pop on, so I'm just going to go ahead and talk. So I did not heat press this. I'm just going to heat press the whole thing when we're done. Okay. Let me put this down a little bit. I think I'm going to need a multi tool to get into because this part here is going to be white and then this is red for the Santa hat. So I think I'm going to do the red first, just to get that part done. I am using Candy Apple, and this is the Candy Apple ink. So for those of you who are new, we have both ink and chalk, and ink is for fabric, and it's permanent. Uh, it looks like I'm having to do this left-handed. Um, it is permanent, 
So you have to have a level of, just gotta be careful. So I'm just gonna go along the edge here with my left hand. And our chalk is, is erasable and reusable. So we use chalk on anything other than fabric. Okay, I'm going to grab a mini squeegee here just to smooth it out a little bit and to get all that excess ink off because we don't want to waste. Okay, so now the rest of this can be white. You just want to smooth it out. What time is it? It's 10 till 11. Okay, so I'm going to use a multi-tool for the to get along the edge there. Got it on my arm. Let me make sure I get that off before I get that on my clothes. Okay, so I'm just going along the edge here. We might have little bit of red mixed in. That's the tricky part. I'm gonna do the best that I can. Got a little... Well, it's just gonna make it look a little pink along the edge. And I got a little on my inside the, the ink, so I need to get that out. Okay. All right, so we have a little bit of pink blend. Shoot. All right, so now I'm gonna switch over to, actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna keep working along the edge. Okay, I think we have most of the edge done. So now I'm going to grab a small squeegee to do the rest.
So is everybody at work right now? I am fortunate that I work from home. I was always a stay-at-home mom since about the time my second child was uh, about four months old and then that's when I quit my other job. I was working after I had my first child in 1999 I had been working uh, full-time and then I switched to part-time after he was born and then so then I was working two days of the week and um, two 10-hour days so that was my part-time so it was 20 hours and I was getting full benefits which was awesome and then I quickly had my daughter immediately after like they're just 13 months apart so um, what I was doing is one of those days my mom would babysit and then the other day my husband would babysit it would be on a Saturday and then he would babysit and then my mom would babysit during the week so after about four months of him having the two little kids by himself he said he was done with that he's like I don't want to have to spend all of my weekends all by myself with these kids so um he wanted me to quit so I did I really wanted to quit too it wasn't just a him decision it was both of us so um I've been a stay-at-home mom ever since and it's been great but you know through the years it got a little lean with just the one salary so that's when I started doing direct sales and I've really been able to make a good salary for myself doing that Okay, so Santa is done. Are you ready for the big reveal? Very cool. It looks really awesome. Okay, so um, what's going to happen next? Let me get this into water here. So the, <clears throat> that needs to soak. All right, so what is going to happen next is this layer here, which I'm not even sure what color that's going to be. going to have to think that through. That might be white too. Just a second layer to give all the details. Um, all right. So anyways, here it is. I like it. <clears throat> it's not perfect, but you know what? Art never is. Um, so here it is. All right. So guys, thank you so much for watching this replay. Sorry that nobody was able to pop on. But since this was a three-part project, I wanted to just kind of get it done. I'm not sure if I'm going to be on later tonight. I um, have this thing that I'm going to in the late afternoon, and I don't know if I'll be back in time. So um, if not, I will finish this project tomorrow. So have a great day, and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.